our second and third, but praise God. You see, let's share a word. Errol is the man behind everything in terms of technology. He and his gang, he and Jordan and Virginia and Shay. I want to give God thanks for this team. And he's a great dad too. Amen. Amen. Yes. Got one, five more to go. It's a great time. Amen. So we pray, Father God, just touch Errol now. Allow him to speak from his heart. Use him as your oracle, Lord God, as the Holy Spirit speaks through him. Let that message go to us. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord, saints. Amen. Bless the Lord. Is anyone happy to be in the house of the Lord? Today? Amen. Amen. The Lord has done great things and we are so glad to be here. Ladies, make some noise for the men today. Yeah. I'm just so glad to be here today um, to, to share a message with you. Thank you, I think, Pastor, for giving me this honor uh, to stand in your pulpit to, to give a word to the saints. Amen. Um, so God, God's got a sense of humor. God, he's just the best. I love the Lord. I love the Lord with all my heart. He's, he's my everything. Amen. I'm just so grateful for him. And the other day, me and my wife, was Christine? That's my beautiful wife. Amen. Amen. And, um, we were praying, we were having our devotion time, you know, and we were praying and I was saying, Lord, I just want to do your will. I just want to serve you. I just want to glorify you. Lord, whatever you have for me to do, let me do it. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the night. The very next morning, God took a message from Pastor saying, Praise the Lord, Buddha Errol. I'm pleased for you. I'm the Father's name. Amen. Well, God is good. Amen. <laughs> Saints, you have to be careful for what you pray to me. <laughs> because the Lord hears and he answers. Amen. But well, I'm glad to be here. The growth and development is necessary in our lives. So we must press forward in the name of Jesus. That's right. I'm qualified. Amen. I'm a man. Amen. I'm a father. Amen. And I'm a child of the Lord. Amen. So I can come here and give you a message. That's right. To father, but today. So today, I want to talk about uh, inheritance. So what is the inheritance, fathers, that way you, you will leave for your children? Mm. What will you deposit within their lives? What will continue beyond your period uh, within their life? Whether they move out, move on and do their own thing, or whether you go home to glory. What will you deposit? What will you leave for your children? And the Bible says, as we already read in the text today, that children are heritage from the Lord. Children are a gift, a, a great blessing, something that we should not take lightly. Whether we made mistakes or done things uh, that we weren't sure about or right or what weren't right, you know, God has gifted us these children. God has predestinated and called out these children out of eternity into, into life. So we need to honor these children and, and serve them well. Bless the Lord. Amen. Bless the Lord. So what will you give? What is inheritance? A good man provides an inheritance for his children, as is said in the word of God. Now we must deliver this for our children. What is inheritance? It is the passing of uh, property, it is the passing of, of um, products, it is the passing of heritage, it is the passing of these things down. It is the legacy that will go from one generation down to the next. It is a quality, it is a characteristic, uh, something that can be uh, immaterial, a possession, a heritage from the Lord. Praise the Lord. So, in the Bible there are many different examples of uh, heritage of things being passed down. There's different examples, um, you know, the famous ones that we talk about, um, such as Esau and, and his brother uh, and his mistake and failure that he made in his life. Uh, we talk about David and what he passed down to Solomon um, and also Elijah and what he had passed down to Elisha. So in the Bible it says 
But then, folded he the cloak together and struck the water with it, and the river divided. And the two of them went across on dry ground. When they came to the other side, Elijah said to Elijah, uh, Tell me, what can I do for you before I am taken away? And Elijah replied, Please let me inherit a double portion of your spirit and become your successor. And the message goes on to say that Elijah did receive that blessing from his spiritual father. Now brothers, in this text, if you read it a little further, uh, a bit higher up in the text, you see that Elijah wanted to go. It was his desire to go home and seek his maker. But he was not able to leave the earth until he had deposited that blessing. His son would not let him go until an inheritance was passed from one generation onto the next. Mm. So fathers, you must, you must take time out to pass on your inheritance. Whatever you've got to give within you, pour out into your children and give that on to the next generation. Amen. So I've got eight points the Lord has given me that I'd like to discuss and talk to you about. And this is framed around, when, when you hear me talk about these things, it's all framed around inheritance. Giving, what we can give, what we can deposit. Now, for me to have an inheritance for my son, um, I can't just, you know, go to my old age and give him something. I need to have worked for it. I need to have toiled. Mm -hmm. I need to have labored yes. to give him a, a blessing and inheritance. So every day, five days a week, I get up, I go to work, I make that money and I try to build a life that is better for my child. Mm -hmm. And it's the same in spiritual matters. We cannot just have a, a, a time where everything just come good, just comes up. We need to invest, we need to spend time, we need to deposit. So these eight points, I pray that you receive them, uh, hear them in the frame or through the filter of inheritance. Uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Okay, so better man, better father. Better man, better Praise the Lord. So, what I'd like to say.